Hey guys, what's up? This is Pat from 12-Bit Soul, and today I'm going to talk to you about a cool kind of out-of-the-box way to use Simpler in Ableton Live and uh, kind of take it places you don't normally go with how it's sort of preset. So I'll just give you a little sample of what I created really quick with this beat. <laughs> So you can see here I've made a little short loop here in uh, this instance of Simpler. Um, I've also got a bunch of macros assigned, which as just Simpler, you have to group it as an instrument rack, and you do that with Command-G. Uh, so what I'm doing here to uh, assign and manipulate with the macros um, are a few different things. I've got, you can see the green dots here. I've got the sample start, uh, the sample length, uh, the fade of the sample, which smooths it out, gets rid of clicks and things like that. Um, and I've also assigned a high pass filter in here. That's here. Uh, also, on the back side, I've got transpose. Um, and then these last three I've added in addition I've created another group inside this instrument rack of audio effects and you can really create all kinds of things to just use this as a performance and a sound design tool um, in this case I just started with a nice echo do some echo delay throws um, a low pass filter I've signed it to uh, the frequency a little chorus, um, and all those here right at convenience. And if you have a controller like Push 2, of course, or another um, like Novation, you've got your eight knobs, even uh, Native Control, I believe, you can assign those as well. And you've got quick live control, and you can go to town and have fun with it. Um, here I've got uh, a little guitar sample. Right now, you can see I've got the start way off from the beginning and the length I have rather short uh, here. And But I can lengthen that out, and you can see the fades drag out as well, as I you can make the fades pretty long, um, which has its own effects. You can play around with it. But, uh, so you can trigger notes, of course, and you can hold them down. these sort of tape loop style wrapping around and so forth and find a little bit of an offbeat loop which is um, a little more organic and then you can also while you're playing it you can scan around with the start time and create some really interesting colorful glitchy almost almost granular type sounds, especially when you get this down to and there you have it with those and I've also done here and so you can also you see here you can um, while you're If you want, you can open another audio track and record this in using resampling if you want. Um, I've also done it, you know, a similar thing here with a, with a piano chop. Um, you can kind of find rhythms that aren't necessarily, this could be, uh, and you don't have to do it in warp either. You can do it without warp uh, so you get some, with the, the variance in pitch, 
you know, um, an octave higher, it's double the speed. An octave lower, it's half the speed. So you can get some really things. You can get triplet sounds in between by using things off of warp. In this case, I have warp on, but uh, you can really play, play around with the different warp algorithms with warp off and the length um, and the start time and the, the fade and so forth. And of course, you can transpose. <laughs> And if you get really creative, uh, and if you have you know the right controller, you can do kind of scratch-like effects, and so forth. And you can also automate those in in um, in your clip envelope. You know, you can go here and get into all kinds of of uh, you can see all these macros are here and available start time length etc. All my effects. You can do some quite creative rhythmic. Um, and glitchy effects with this so that's pretty much you know one uh, different way to use these and then of course so you don't have to set this up every time you can use the disk little disk icon here and you can save these to your user library um, instruments presets so forth and I also mark them in my favorites uh, I've got it called sample mangler here and just so I don't have to go through this process every single time again. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, I'm all about experimentation. I just gave you a quick taste of what you can do with this uh, to do a little hip hop type trap beat, but you can take this all into trance, into every genre, make some really hypnotic, interesting experimental stuff. And you can use pretty much any sample source, vocals, pianos, guitars, create your own, all kinds of fun stuff, and just explore. Um, that's what all these tools are for, you know, to push the envelope with our creativity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thanks for tuning in. Let's ride out.